So I know you can't jump like your dad, D. Brown. At all. You can't. You, you don't Not have them boosties. Not even close. <laughs> you know, your, your, your dad, D. Brown, slam dunk champion, if I can remember, mm-hmm. with, the, with the Reebok pumps. Yep. I was a kid at the time. I actually probably went out and bought a pair. I think I might have bought a pair after that. I was, I think I was like in a 10th grade. It was grade. an iconic moment. Yeah, 10th yeah. grade, little, little. <laughs> um, <laughs> former NBA player, D. Brown, Boston Celtic, whatnot. Um, how did he influence you? In advice that he gave you throughout college and into this WNBA world? Yeah, I mean, I think one of my favorite, it's like my favorite and least favorite things about my dad is that he's very hands off um, when it comes to like being like in the spotlight and stuff like that. Obviously, I talk to him almost every day. You know, when season starts, I talk to him all the time. He gives me notes after games at halftime. I sometimes will have texts waiting from him. <laughs> um, But he just instilled this work ethic in me that he had when he was growing up. You know, he wasn't highly recruited. You know, he got to the league because he got he got invited to a a college seniors basketball camp and he just stood out there and he kind of just had to, you know, work his way into the league. And, you know, that's just kind of the mentality that he has always given to me was you just got to, you know, your work is going to show always. Um, And then he says this thing to me called hoop over hype. And I just have never gotten, you know, the accolades. I've never really, I mean, let me take that back. I do have the accolades, but I have never really had the buzz that has followed the accolades, which I've never really understood. Um, but that's not why I play. I play because I love basketball and that love that he gave to me for it and just spending time with him too. I mean, I think that's how I fell in love with basketball because I just wanted to spend time with my dad. Okay. Lexi, I saw you participated in Gilbert Arenas' shootout here in LA where you competed against men and women, all from the same three-point line. How was that experience? The shootout was fun. Um, I think one of the best parts about the shootout was all the trash talk that was going on leading up to the shootout. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we all made a bet on the couch that whoever made it farthest, well, it was whoever won, but then it turned into whoever made it the farthest in the shootout would get the show named after them for a week. So then Gil's Arena turned into Lexi's Arena for a week. And that was really nice. That was fun. You was knocking shots down? Yeah, that's what I do. No, but don't see you coming with the, that's that's what what I I do. do. I am a shooter. Well, what did you think of the Seth versus Sabrina three-point contest? I thought that was amazing. I thought that was really cool. I love that she shot at the NBA line. Um, and I love that she out, outshot every other NBA player that participated in the three-point contest other than Steph. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we know we know that she's a, an elite three-point shooter. So, I'm glad the world got to see that. And I thought that was a really great moment for us. Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know. I didn't watch it, but. Why not? You know, I didn't watch it because I think just All Star whole deal is so boring to me now. Like I just, yeah, everything. I mean, is I like think a, that was everything like, is like a gimmick. It's like, yeah, yeah so I kind of like, I don't know. That was definitely the most exciting. Yeah, part. Yeah, that's what they say. Like, and it wasn't even. Like, I'm close. not watching a slam dunk contest with somebody that's not slamming in the league. I'm, yeah. I'm just not doing it. Yeah, you know what no, I'm saying. I get that. Like, if I want to watch a slam dunk contest, I want to see Ja. I want to see. Ant Man, them. I want to see uh, them. Let me yeah. see some dude that I have no idea who he is. Is off the streets coming to dunk it? <laughs> off like, the come streets on. is crazy. Oh, yo, shout out, man. No, shout out. Man, come on, man. He off the streets. <laughs> he literally off the streets. No, I agree. I do wish more stars would, you know, participate, which is why I respected Jalen Brown, even though mm-hmm. he tried. He did try. He tried my dad's dunk. He tried oh, it. Oh, did he? he I didn't, like I said, I didn't even see it. So it didn't go well, but. I, I appreciate the attempt. My dad appreciated the attempt. But <laughs> he appreciated no one, it. Yeah. That was it. He said, he's, he always tells me, he's like, people don't realize how hard it was to do that dunk. He, he thought about it Yeah, because top. first of all, your dad's not 6'9". He's not yeah, a he's, big, I mean, yeah. he's not a tall, like, He's right? a little dude. He's, so it looked, it looked way different. <laughs> From a little person. Three, six, two. I don't want to see a seven-footer dunking. I just don't want to, you know, get me the, get me Ant-Man, get me the 6'5 and under. Okay, so your your dream slam dunk contest is six five, six, five and under. Like, you know, I could go super six, athletic. Six. I can go six six because of Jordan, because he had certain poses and he could float mm-hmm. in the air and pause. And so I want that. Yeah, you know, everybody's always like LeBron. He should do the dunk contest. LeBron's not a 
a, a, a guy can torque his body in the air like that. He just right. doesn't have, you know, he's a power dunker. Yeah. So, so if you could pick four current NBA players to participate in the slam dunk contest, it would be Ant Man, Ja, ja Zion Jalen fat Green, ass. Jalen Green, yeah, Jalen Green, Green, yeah, Zion fat ass. He's not <laughs> slim down a bit. Have you seen him? He looks good. I need y'all to leave Zion alone. Man. I'm not. I'm just saying he's. Yeah, he slimmed down a little bit. He still looked like a donut, though. That's just the reality of it. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.